Right. This is, oh, it's got a bit of yellow in it, never mind. So it's going to wet the whole thing. <clears throat> Top to bottom. Yep, the whole, the whole painting, yep. Okay. Not going to leave anywhere dry for this particular exercise. <clears throat> so we'll just slosh that on. Because remember, with the bleach, um, obviously we've got the luxury of um, burning back colour so we can get some lights back into it. So that's kind of the idea. So I'm just re wet the top, let's dry it out a little bit. So there we go, all nice and wet, all the way across. All the way across, there we go. No, no little spots that are dry. So the first thing then is a the colour. And I'm going to use, um, I'm, going to put, I'm going to mix some watercolour and ink together, okay, by the way. So I've got my ink ready to go. And maybe like a, um, a, a turquoisey blue, okay, together to make a, um, a first colour. And I'm going to start that at the top of the sky. Okay, so here we go. Nice and blue. I'm just going to angle this very slightly coming down. Okay, now I'm going to dip into a slightly different colour now. I'm going to go with um, a little bit of, well, we've got a bit of purple in the painting, haven't we? So I'm going to have a bit of purple. Um, not too much, just a little streak through here. So a little, a little streak of purple through there. Mainly around where the lights are, really, because I want, I want the lights to stand out quite bright. So, right now, I'm going to dip into my ink now. I'm already getting in a bit of a state. So going straight into the quink ink, and I'm just going to mix that into my, into my watercolour. Okay, into the bluey, bluey, purpley colour that I've just been using. A little bit of water. And straight on with that. So it's very, very dark, but it will dry lighter. Okay. So we'll mix some of that on. All right, going back into some blues again now down the bottom here. Nice and strong. <laughs> All the way across. There we go. Right now, I've got a bit of a band in the middle. I don't like that. So I'm just going to take some water, take some tissue. There we go. dry paper so that I can control the wash um, and I'm just going to start to block in oops, if I can see without the glare the shape of my um, turrets up here so they come through at the top up here oh that's really wet for mine yeah if, if, if it's too wet then you might have to just give it yeah. give it a minute just blob so coming down the down the front, a little bit more brown in that. There we go. So some more brown mixed in. Now I've got my arches, which are about here. So I'm going to cut round those. There we go, around one arch, and there's the other arch. Come down the far side, and then the bridge kicks out a bit there. Oops, I'm just cut my arch, never mind. Comes all the way down, fairly straight, or as straight as you can make it. down to where we've got the, um, the first part of the bridge. So that swoops all the way across. And I'm just gonna paint that in a flat wash and then pick out some, some different colors and things in that later. So just join that up. I'm gonna have to tilt this a little bit more. I can't see because of the glare. There we go. So, coming down on this far side. All the way down. And then it kind of comes out a little bit there and then down. 
and then more brown. And then the underside of the bridge is going to be through here. More brown again. Oops. So the bridge comes to God, the glare in here this morning is terrible. Sorry, can you still see that if I tilt that up? Is that okay? Yeah, 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 yeah. I've got a light over the top and it's glaring right onto the water. I can't even see what I'm doing. Mm, right, so it. this <laughs> comes through there and then it comes up. So this is actually just drawing with the brush at the moment just to get my bridge back in. So that comes all the way through. I'll try and straighten that a bit. And then the other side of the bridge comes down. Down, down, down. And then it kind of comes out, down. Just a big shape all the way through. <clears throat> and down this side. I'm going to go into some of the dark blue again and some brown. Just to darken the colour up a bit more. Just at this bottom section. So it comes down to about those lights there. So here's the you're adding this dark brown to the ink as well, Stuart. Yeah, it's still got ink in it, yeah. So the ink's still part of the, the, the mix, but it's not obviously the main part of the mix. And that comes through to about there. Just giving it a slight angle at the bottom, mm -hmm. going uphill, because yeah. obviously the bridge is in perspective. Mm. So just be careful of that. And then we've got the... I've totally the, lost my drawing. Have you? <laughs> well, um, unfortunately, because it's a night scene, um, it's a little bit difficult to... Um, unless we were to paint this piecemeal and then have every single bit painted yeah. individually, um, there's not really any other way that you can do this so easily. Oh, it's good practice drawing with the brush now though, isn't it? It is, yeah. I mean, you've got, you've got the basic shapes there and it's just kind of just rolling with it and figuring out where the rest of it goes. So this comes down. I'm putting a bit more water in this now because obviously it's further away. So we don't want this to be quite so, quite so strong. So this is the other end of the um the bridge that comes down turn it off now all the way down Ready? coming through bridge there and then down to the ground, or the water, I should say. And then it just yes. follows through and disappears out of the painting over here. There's a little tiny sliver. And we don't really care where that goes too much. Okay. Might just block that edge, it's gone a bit too low there. lift a bit of that out. Just yes. soften that bottom edge of the um of the bridge a touch. Okay. Right. <laughs> so that's now done softening off 
the bottom of this bridge. Oh. Bring that down with a bit of clean water. So just bleeding that um, main part of the bridge down whilst it's still a little bit wet into the watery area. Just buffing that off. <coughs> Bring that down. Right. So while that's drying then, uh, I'm going to make a stab at finding our distant bridge. Right, now I'm going to take my bleach and fingers crossed this works after, after setting all this up. So I want, I should wet that top edge first. So I'm going to take some clean water because bleach will creep like, um, like the watercolour will. So I'm going to re-wet little patch here. I'm just going to do this corner first just to a little sample. Take my bleach and then run that. Can you see how it's kind of pulled that up a little bit? Maybe you can't see that on the video. Um, it's just running into the watercolour above it yeah, yeah. to give an effect. Um, let's just come on down there. There we go. That's quite nice. So let's continue that across the top of across the top of the um, this turret. So I'm just going to again run the water so it's got something to bleed into and then take my bleach over the top of the bridge. Like so. And it's just lightening the um, that area just ever so slightly. So let's continue that. Um, across, so into my dome and away. So run the bleach down there. Oh, that's far too wet. Let's get rid of that. Don't want that bleaching all the way through yet. There we go. That's giving quite a nice, um, nice effect into those watercolour washes. Let's just continue this bleach across here and under that bit. I'm just almost painting the bits between the, um, the support beams um, to get it to lighten. Okay, and then just wash all that away. Now we'll do the bit in between the arch now. Actually, I forgot to paint the inside of the arch. I need to do that. I need to put some colour on there first. I'm just going to take my original brownie greys and just pop some colour in here on the inside of the archway. I forgot to paint that. So let's just drop that in. Coming down, all the way down to the um, bridge, uh, the roadway. So like so. There we go, we'll do the same on this one. And this one comes down in the same fashion, curves over, and then meets the other part of the um, upright, just about there. So just a tiny little sliver of the sky showing through that one. Mm -hmm. And on this one, there's a little bit more sky showing. 
Okay, and then I'll just mop up that so it doesn't run absolutely everywhere. There we go. And I need to let that dry before I do the bleaching on there. So let's just go onto the um, this left hand side whilst I'm waiting for that to dry and see if we can get any bleaching in here done. So I'm just going to re-wet up here. And obviously if you don't have the bleach and you want to just use um, acrylic ink or if you don't have acrylic ink, you could just paint with um, just acrylics or anything like that to give you this lightening effect, that would be fine. Flatten that out a little bit. Now I'm going to drop the bleach again into, into here and let it creep up. There we go. Bleach it at the bottom. Let it bleed up. Okay, that'll do that. Just lay it a bit flatter. So now the next bit will be to come underneath the, um, on the particularly on this left in the middle section, to start to find the uh, the main big bridge at the background. And it comes in there a little bit. And then I'm gonna drop the bleach into this wetted shape and just let it do whatever it wants to do. I'm going to start it at the top. And it's just going to mix with those colors and give me an effect. There we go. So now I'm going to do the same little trick in my middle section. So just take some water again. Remember this is diluted bleach this is, it's not neat. It's about 50, 60% bleach with water. Okay. So coming underneath the um, roadway. So almost you're painting the negative space between the roadway to the next bridge that's in the distance. That's what I'm thinking about. Mm. And then also over here, I've also got um, buildings to contend with. So um, I'm gonna leave some shapes for where I think those start, which is gonna be about about there and kind of okay. a little break and then it comes in again another little break perhaps a little bit there again I'm going to take my bleach drop it in from the roadside top section let it run down there we go a little bit in there more in there okay just mop that up a bit take some of that out so coming under here I've actually got um, some lighter areas in my in my distance coming under this bridge there is a big post in the way i'm going to ignore that so there and then i'm just going to imagine there's some little buildings back back there and then i'm going to show where the other side of this upright is which is about here so this is all just negative painting basically. So I'm painting all the spaces um, mm -hmm. that are light in between the anything that's dark. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm really looking at. <clears throat> so to, to hopefully get the darker shapes to show up um, once the lighter shapes are in. That kind of comes down there. I think we need a, possibly a little bit more light through here. Bleed a bit more bleach in there. 
maybe they could be clouds or something, I don't know. Um, just to get that section to show up a bit better. And then on this side, we've got the upright there. So this is the road comes through and then there's actually the upright here. And then we're into buildings on this side. So that kind of comes down to the water level. Okay. Now in the water itself, we've got lots of, lots of reflections. So I'm going to put some water and from this area here, I'm going to re-wet down some of this area. So my water line kind of comes just above the edge of this bit of the, um, the bridge. So I'm going to tilt this a bit and start to get the bleach to run down. So I've got some little light here. So I want to bleach out some of this and just let it run down the paper. Some of this doesn't have enough ink in it to be able to actually bleach, but um, some of it does. So we'll get a very subtle effect. There we go, coming down. Let's be running off my board, so let's mop that up. Take this right out to the side. Okay, so a little bit more on this left left side. Over there. So I'm going to do some of that now on the on this right hand side. I'm going to re-wet re-wet the water. All the way to the bottom, leaving this main upright dry, so that um, it almost reads as the darker element. So let's just run that down there. Run some colours, perhaps a little bit lower, higher, I should say, higher, lower. A bit in there, some over this side. Bit down there. Okay, and then we'll leave that to um, to dry on the water side. Don't want to play with that too much. Just mop that up. Very easy to get carried away with this, so I'm not going to mess with that too much. Okay, so we'll leave that that section just to dry there now. We should get some nice little little white spots come up. This is always fairly satisfying to do. There we go. Um, <clears throat> and then some more little bits down here. And sometimes with the bleach, you just have to leave it um, mm -hmm. to do its, okay. its own thing rather than keep adding more and more and more. Just let it re do its reaction in its own time because sometimes mm -hmm. it does take a minute or two before you can see anything. Mm -hmm. Um, and if you jump in there and keep adding more bleach before it's done any reaction, sometimes you can get too big a reaction. So, uh, we've got some more light underneath the bridge over here. So, we'll just pop some bits of light down there. <clears throat> lots of little windows. And these almost you want to paint this like an abstract mm. try not to make it too literal don't follow every single little light and um <clears throat> every bit in the reference try and just take take the reference as a 
as a starting point and just as long as you get it roughly in the right place mm, that's not the point and not you know you don't have to get every light or every every little bit of detail it's more about the the feeling of, of the um those effects is really what we're after mm -hmm. so now i'm just putting it a bit more on the on the distant on the distant bridge just some little bit of pieces <clears throat> uh we've got a few little lighter spots actually on the uprights so i'm just going to put some of those in just to make that the um the actual upright bit stand up a bit better uh then on our main bridge so i'm just going to leave that to dry while i go onto the main bridge in fact what i'm going to do now is leave the bleach a second and i'm going to put in the um the the, the steel wiring some of that and then i may even use not necessarily i might use a credit card or a bit of card just to start to get some of these vertices in from this first upright i'm going to bring my wire in section so i'm not going to try and do the whole thing in one go i'm just going to do it in little dashes following almost trying to follow my drawing mm. okay. down to the main part of the bridge and then it kind of uh curves and then starts to go up on this side up there and then we've got a bit that comes down there mm. and then this one's already sort of been defined comes up to the middle here this comes down so by putting these in oh that's a bit heavy by putting these in um a little bit darker it's going to make the lights mm, nice. stand out on the on the ropes if mm. i try to follow the reference and put them in light then the, the it will comp it will compete with the um with the the lights too much and i want the lights to sort of stand out so um we'll just get that in there and that and that and that across there we'll do the same in the uh this one And it comes across here like that. Uh, we've got another another bit in the middle here. We'll get that in there. Okay, so I'll let that dry. The next bit then will be to go slightly darker with my ink. And I'm going to start to bring in some of the detail within the main um bridge. this main bridge so i'm going to use the very very just neat quink ink now and pick out the shapes that actually make the bridge have some three-dimensionality to it and this down to where the bridge meets the road It comes down on this side. Uh, and then we've got another bit that comes down on this side. Mm -hmm. But the idea of this is just to give it, give the bridge a little bit of mm -hmm. um, three dimensionality and start to show up some of the shapes that might have got a little bit lost um, during the painting process. So this comes all the way down. Okay. 
I'm not going to put them all in. I'm just kind of want enough that it starts to show the shapes without overdoing it. So a little bit there, a little bit there. Sometimes less is more with this sort of drawing. You don't want to overdraw it. Because then all those lovely washes kind of get eradicated. Yeah. And we want those to kind of almost be the main the main thing really. So some of the roadway in. And there's lots of um, detail and and you can take that as much or as little as you want to really, but I'm just gonna keep it quite simple. Put a, maybe a couple of verticals in, not too many, just the odd one here or there. Or indications of verticals. Oops. Not gonna take them right away. A little bit of detail under the bridge. As this kind of comes down comes under the bridge here. Look, as I said, I'm not bringing them all, I'm not gonna put them all in. I just want enough that it gives the bridge a little bit of shape. Mm. Try not to rest my finger too more. much. This is more. Rest my finger too much in the paint. Okay, so a little bit there, and then I'm follow that line, that line back. And obviously right back here, I don't want too much, uh, too much tone. So I'll just let it bleed out, just disappear into the mist. It could be a misty area back here, perhaps. Bring that line under. Again, a few more indications of things going on under the bridge. Not really sure what they are, but they're just bits and pieces. Um, on this far bridge, I'm just going to put a few little marks just to shore up the the um, the drawing, make it stand out a bit better. So kind of comes back and then gets lost in those buildings. Uh, we've got another little upright in there somewhere. And then it kind of carries on through on this right hand side. And then we've got the uprights over here. Bring those down. coming all the way down underneath the bridge, down to the road, uh, down to the water, I should say. <clears throat> Across the top where the road goes. Two little marks there, it's a bit too pedestrian. Let's just rub that out. Uh, we've got a little bit of a roof line through here. So I'm just gonna put a few darks just a few spots here and there, just to get that uh, left-hand side, which has gone a bit light, a bit darker. And it'll indicate a touch more where the, uh, the water line kind of comes through, just because that's got a bit lost. Soften that off, just with water. Okay. Blot it a bit, that's a bit heavy. Just want it a subtle, subtle edge. I don't want it to be too heavy. Okay. Uh, on this right hand side, I need a bit more light, I think, in these in this detail. So I'm going to take my small brush again and my bleach. I'm going to bring a bit more light on the top of the water here. Just to indicate that this is the water edge mm. on this side. And it goes on through and goes over to the 
over to this bridge. There we go. Perhaps a little bit of that just coming in from the edge of the painting. A bit more light up behind the uprights here, just to get those to stand out a bit more. Uh, a bit more bleach just to lift lift those out and again if you're not using the bleach then just use like white paint or a lighter paint to do this um, and again a few more little dip, dips and dots in here just to get these um, lighter areas to help the darker shape which is the building to show up that's the main idea <clears throat> a few more there here and there okay now a few more uprights now i think i mean at the edge but it's somewhere less important like the edge start to get some of these in so you need a few verticals, I think, to um, just break up some of the mm -hmm. sky. Mm. Um, and you don't have to run the vertical right the way to the top. Um, yeah. The only thing really is just to try and keep them upright. more of those perhaps a few higher ones no ones that gives the idea of the um uh the uh oh, right. the, support, the support ropes yeah um perhaps a couple just in the background. It's far, far easier to try and do this with, with printing method than it would be if you're trying to do it with a brush. Yeah, it looks fun, isn't it? Um, because with a brush, you know, the, to get a, a straight line is actually quite difficult. You could use a card, couldn't you? Use a bit of a mount board or you could yeah, use a bit of card. Uh, bit of card, bit yeah. Card. More. More up here, and dead easy as well, you know. If you just, yeah, yeah, um, you don't need just have to remember as you get further down the, down the bridge, they need to get narrower Closer. um, just to clear. each other, um, and not further away, they need to get closer, yeah. Mm. More of those. <coughs> okay, and then a couple of those just on the opening because we'd see a little bit of that far up, far one just poking its head through. So we'll just pop a bit in there. Coming down. So straight out of the tube, I want the paint to be nice and um, thick. And I'm going to pop some of these little, some very, very color or, or different colored lights within the, some of the different areas. Perhaps on there. Just the odd bit of blue here and there. Just through the background. Right, I'm going to change my colour now to the yellow. Just putting the uh, blue away, get the yellow out. Just to give me um, some slightly yellower lights. So dipping straight into the tube again. So we'll have some nice bright yellow lights on my bridge 
in different places. Just little spits and spots here and there. Some back here. Right in the distance. Try not to make them too big. <clears throat> Perhaps the odd bit on top. Uh, okay. And then change the colour again into red now. Oops. Try that. Off. So a few little red spots now because red um, is quite nice just to add a bit more brightness to the painting. So straight into my cadmium red, it's just cadmium red, nice bright red. So down here I'm gonna have a few little ready spots. <clears throat> uh, over here. Distance. Uh, maybe the odd bit of you know the odd bit of red on the bridge. Perhaps there's some cars or something on the bridge that are <clears throat> moving. Uh, we'll have a couple of I don't know. Let's have a red light up on the top of the bridge. I know there isn't, but we'll make one up. Uh, perhaps some more little lights over here. <clears throat> okay, and maybe the odd bot or two down on the uh, shoreline. Have a teeny bit on this bridge. <clears throat> In the distance. <clears throat> Clean that off. <coughs> right. I think we need just perhaps a little bit more um, shadow underneath the main bridge. Uh, not too much, just a bit more. So I'm going to use some, I'm just going to re-wet the area. with clean water. And then I'll drop in a bit more, a bit more, um, I think we'll go with an inky mix. It's starting at the top. Just drop some of this in. Darken up the shadow a little bit more, a bit too, too light. Just want it to be a bit stronger in here. To bring the, this part of the bridge forwards just a bit more. Okay, just soften that off. And then break up this edge. Uh, 
just with some water. <clears throat> okay. I'm just looking at the <clears throat> upper part of the bridge. Perhaps it needs a bit more, a bit more tone in it, maybe. Although I quite like what I've got there at the moment. Let's have a look. Maybe just a bit more tone in the arches. So we're taking the same grey mix. Just going to put another wash in here. Just to darken this up a little bit. In the um, archway. And same on the far side. <clears throat> there we go. Okay, and then I actually forgot there's a I think there's a little bit of light uh, showing through the arches on this bar. The far bridge, so I'm going to use a tiny bit of bleach just to knock that back out. So we've got an archway that comes to the top of the archway. I'm not going to take it right to the bottom, I'm just going to let it disappear. And then another bit of it on this side. And then just wash that down. Just with water. Okay. Coming across breakup, some of these areas, perhaps to indicate some of the um, detail in the bridge. Okay. The odd vertical, top of the vertical. Okay. Few more marks down here. Just in our lighter spots. A couple more on the um, on these lights here. I didn't get in with the masking fluid. more lights there. Perhaps a couple more just to make these a bit bigger. Just haze the edge of them a little bit, make them a bit more um, uh, like there's some light or atmosphere around. Break these up a bit as well. Yeah, 
And finally, just maybe a couple of little bits of detail under the bridge. Where some light might be glinting it. <clears throat> Obviously, you can get carried away with all these little bits and dots, but um, try and limit myself a little bit. Uh, another little light in there. There's one more there. Okay, and I think that will do us.